All right, so I'm going to explain how to install a custom third-party SSL in Switchfox. It's been a pain in the butt for the last three or four years, but I've done it every time. I kind of had to relearn it. I'm not the smartest cookie on the block, I guess, or uh, just I don't do this all the time. I do this once a year. Um, so we'll start from um, the basics. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to create a CSR in a program called OpenSSL. Uh, a lot of servers can create a CSR in themselves, but there's no tool in Switchfox to create a CSR. So we have to go and create one. We'll do that in OpenSSL, and then also we'll create a key in SSL, OpenSSL. Uh, once we have the CSR, we'll submit the CSR to GoDaddy. They'll give us uh, the certificate and the intermediate, and we'll install the, uh, the certificate, we'll install the intermediate, and we'll install the key in Switchbox. So let's start on that first. You need to install OpenSSL. So come to this website, come on down here, and if you have a 64-bit uh, uh, OS, which you most likely do, go ahead and download it. And if your computer does like mine and it blocks it, you should be able to come here and keep it anyways. Run anyways. All right, so it's installed. OpenSSL is basically just a uh, command prompt window. So we're gonna come here. Now it's running. All right, so in OpenSSL, we need to enter some specific commands to generate what we need to generate. OpenSSL. Gen RSA dash out, and now we're gonna tell it I want you to create this file and save it in this uh, location. I'm just gonna keep it simple, call it stuff. All right, so I'm gonna save it to C stuff. And now we're going to give our file a name. Oh, yep, dot key 2048. All right, it generated a RSA private key inside of the stuff folder. All right. And that key is called switchbox.key. So we just created the private key, and that's one of the three files we'll need to install into switchbox once we're done with all the creation of the stuff all right so now let's create our csr open ssl re q new key all right so tell open ssl where that key is and ssl take that key and create a, another thing with it, CSR file. All right, so a lot of the stuff is blurred out because I don't want you to steal any of my information. Um, so enter the information that it wants. It's all pretty uh, simple to understand. Organization name is your company name, organizational unit, IT department, or if it's, you don't have to answer anything in there, you can leave a blank. Common name, e.g. server, or the fully qualified domain name. The FQDN, that is um, the fully qualified domain name. That's that uh, name of your server. Um, and that has to be registered at a, a domain registry like GoDaddy. So you have to own that uh, 
domain name, that .com name. Then your email address. It's going to ask you for a challenge password. All that good stuff. Once you've done that, you now have a CSR and a key. Wahoo. All right, so we're at GoDaddy, and here are my products. Um, I own the domain, and um, I can yeah, mess with my DNS on the domain name. Here's my SSL certificate for pbx.homestead. Yeah. So we're going to manage. So what we're going to do with uh, the this right here, it wants us to paste our CSR. So we've got our CSR right here. We're going to open it. Open with. Notepad. All right, so you must get all the things in here. All right, so beginning at the first dash and end at the last dash. Copy everything. Come back to GoDaddy. Paste it in and add change. I've already had the key. I'm just rekeying it. Uh, we're going to submit my changes. So now at this point it's going to take GoDaddy about five or ten minutes to uh, reissue that key. All right, so we're back on my certificates. Um, if we go to the certificate that we're rekeying, um, you can see that the request date was today at 11.46, so we are uh, now ready uh, to download their certificates. Uh, you may choose Apache. Apache will have the files that we need. I've already downloaded the Apache file. It comes down in a zip, and I have unzipped it to that stuff folder. Here are the three files. All right, so this file is our intermediate. It's ready to go. This is our key file. It's ready to go. Both of these are ready to be installed into Switchfox. This one, the security certificate, it needs to be converted because uh, it's a newer type of certificate. I, I don't know all the technical reasons why, but we're going to use OpenSSL and um, convert it to an X509 certificate in PEM format. So let's go grab OpenSSL command prompt window again. We are going to tell, before we do this, because we have to tell OpenSSL what file we're going to use, I'm going to just change this the name to something that's easy to write. Open SSL X509. All right. In this location, it's in cert.crt. And then change it. SSL, open SSL, please. Out form PM out. And um, C dot P E M. All right, so now if we go to our stuff file, here's new cert dot P E M. Wahoo. Now at this point, we're going to install that file that file and that file into our PBX server. So 
Get over to Switchbox. I am running 7.8.1. Make sure you're logged in with admin. And if you can't get to HTTPS and proxy, then you don't have rights to that. Uh, anywho, here's my old info. We're going to take it all out. And now, we're going to open our intermediate with notepad. We're going to copy the entire thing, paste it into the intermediate. All right, we've got a space there at the end. I'm going to get rid of that. All right. That's the CSR, this is the PM file. Let's open this with Notepad. All right, copy. Pasting. Get rid of that last inserted line. And then grab my key file. So, oh, yep, notepad. You already knew to do that. All right. Now my RSA key. And now we're going to save this and hopefully not get an error. Cross your fingers, hope to die. Don't stick a needle anywhere. Network restarted, settings saved, and we are solid. Woohoo! Mission accomplished, and we're done.